I took my left hand and, and uh, used a palm heel strike into her solar plexus, which has an in, with strike to the solar plexus that way is an involuntary reaction of, <gasps> which of course opens her mouth, and I immediately pulled my hand away. I, I then got completely away from her and went into the house. You have some experience in uh, yes. physical fighting, Mr. Funk? I have experience in martial arts. I do. Is it possible, from your experience in physical, in uh, martial arts, to uh, uh, strike a person and not leave a mark on them? Yes. Mm -hmm. Even if you took them to, say, the doctor, would he be able to tell because was they uh, had been a physical blow? Uh, it depends on the, the kind of a physical blow that was done. Okay, so there are some physical blows that you can render where there would be no mark left. And you know of those blows? There would, would be, um, I, I would know some means. Mm -hmm. So it is possible that you could have struck Mrs. Funk and not left a blow, and not left a mark? I believe in this case, uh, the, the blood of the solar plexus left in the mark. Left in the mark, okay. So you can hit her and not leave a mark. Thank you, Mr. Funk. Okay, so you state then that she, you struck her, and she opened her mouth, and you left, pulled your hand away, and took the, took the, uh, uh, she let folder. Go. She let go. She, she finally, let go of the she folder at this point. She let go of the folder at this point that she'd been fighting so hard to grab. Okay, so now we've got you into the house. Let's uh, talk about your children, Mr. Bob. Did you see much of them while you were married? Yes. A lot of them? See them every day? Oh, yes. Came home at night? Yes. What time did you come home at night? Well, that would, would depend on what time of the uh, time frame in the marriage you're talking about. Because Let's the see. job uh, varied. Okay, well, what, uh, what might be the earliest time you come home? Five o'clock. Five o'clock would be the uh, latest time you might come home. Nine o'clock. Nine o'clock. So you come home at nine o'clock a lot? No. Uh, occasionally? Once a month? Twice a month? Maybe uh, twice a year. Twice a year. Okay. Other times you'd always come home at five then? No. No. Come home later? Come home at 5.15? It would be somewhere, the more typical time to come home would be somewhere from, from 5 to 7.30. 7.30, okay. When you came home, of course, you'd immediately uh, embrace the boys and uh, play games with them for a couple hours? Well, not necessarily. Not necessarily. What would you do? I mean, we would embrace the boys. Mm -hmm. um, Melissa. Uh, you embrace Beverly. Melissa? <laughs> Or at least greet Melissa in some manner. What um, kind of manner? Sometimes, Shake her hand? Some days it would just be hi, some days it would be, uh, yeah, no. She, Melissa sometimes would want to show me things, mm -hmm. uh, take a look at those. A lot of it depended on, on what we're talking about, whether it was, was early in the marriage, before Matthew and Michael before, after Matthew, Michael came and before Matthew, or after Matthew. And Gabe, uh, so depending on what time of the marriage you were talking about, you would be spending some time with the boys, little time with the boys, no time with the boys, lots of time with Melissa? Yes. Yes, okay. When you uh, came home, did you uh, ask Beverly how the, what, uh, what she'd been doing with the boys all day long? Find out what, uh, what was going on in their lives? Yes. What, uh, what kind of questions would you ask? Well, what's happened today, or you know, what's new? Uh, mm -hmm. um, if there was, was something specific that the boys would, would talk about? Uh, Did you express any concern? you say, oh, Michael looks a little a little sick of taking to the doctor? Or did, uh, did you let Beverly make those decisions?